America on a much vaster scale and much deeper because this is not a human level type ideology. You're not talking about the survival of human species, right? This is not like 20th century warfare where, where countries were competing against others for, for their own survival. Like, well, that's a really graphic case. Say when, when the Nazis, when Hitler invaded Russia, early 40s, I think, I don't know, 20, 30 million Russians were killed by the Nazis. I mean, it was a trauma. And, and Stalingrad, that you know, Stalingrad, right? that, that was like a, a test case where these, these two civilizations just fought it out to the death. And Stalin just poured resources into that city. He did not want it defeated. This, this was like the test. Hitler stopped here. And, and they won. And then they pushed the Nazis westward right back to Berlin. And I, I read virtually every city, um, like East European city, they captured from the Nazis, that was by, by the Bolsheviks, by, by the Russians, cost the Russians about 100,000 young lives per city. Right? It was massive sacrifice. And they were prepared to do that to... Uh, rid Russia, Soviet Union, of the scourge of Nazism. Yeah? Now that, that was sort of typical of 20th century wars, but 21st century wars, if we have one, this time the scale of the conflict, the scale of the passion is so much higher because the stake this time is so much higher. We're not talking about the survival of a country anymore. In the 21st century, second half, it will be about the survival of us as a species. Right? Now, uh, recently my second book came out, and the theme of that book is the creation of a world state, a, a, a global state, call it GLOBA. And I see that as quite realistic. And perhaps even within half a century from now, we, we will be living in a global state. Why? Because, well, lots of factors, but probably the biggest one is the internet. The internet speed is doubling. Not every 18 months, but roughly every 12, every year. It, it's a, an annual doubling. Right? So it's a, uh, I, call it, I call this phenomenon BRAD, B-R-A-D. Bit rate, in other words, the information speed, in bits per second, bit rate, annual doubling of the internet, bread. So in 40 years, that's 2 to the power 40, that's about, that's a trillion. So the internet will be a trillion times faster than what it is today. So what could you do with such an internet? Well, you could transmit vivid three dimensional images of anything, right? So the whole planet could, you could sit in your armchair and travel the world, right? See anything, go anywhere. So this will lead to a cultural homogenization, the, the need, powerful need for a global language. So probably very likely that's, that will be English, because it's already the most spoken second language in the world by a mile compared to others. So we'll probably see English become the global language, the world language. And once that happens, ideas will transmit across the planet at the speed of light. And then we will get a cultural homogenization, very likely. And once we have that, understanding levels between people's groups increases a lot. And then, yeah, then it becomes much more likely we'll have a global state. Right, so imagine around mid-century, more or less, we live in more or less a global, a global state. So this debate, this species dominance debate, then is global. So if there's a major conflict over this huge issue, it'd be sort of like a global civil war. Right? So the, the scale of the conflict then is not 
pitching between nations, it would be like inter internal, but the whole planet, a global civil war involving billions, billions of people. Just the population of the Earth is what? Six and a half to seven billion people today. Okay, so uh, why why a conflict? What 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 are the what are the arguments? You know, prompt myself. Why is the my internet speed not doubling? Well, I read in the technical journals that that the internet speed is is doubling. Maybe in jumps. I mean. What, what is your internet speed? 100 megabit or something? Yeah, yeah that's correct. But more quickly, is the bell curve is widening, the, this big sort of um, bell shape is widening that way. So not the people in the middle, like you and me, our internet isn't effectively doubling in speed, but towards the... You know, but just, just maybe averaged out. I mean, new technologies come along and, like, can you remember when you used to Beep, beep. <laughs> you make a bit too young, but the, the 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 connection speed was incredibly slow. So maybe it comes in jumps, and then, you know, it's a couple of years, and then jumps again, and so so, so on, on average, that seems to be a fairly fairly good generalization. And if you look at it from a, from a physicist's point of view, there doesn't seem to be any limit to the downscaling of information transfer. I mean, if you, if you put it on a, an electron, I mean, maybe one day we'll put information on strings. On, <laughs> yeah. So, right. just uh, see, see, see that coming. All right, so uh, let's, let's go a bit into... Do you want a break? All right. I'm, I'm getting